Hello and welcome. Today we're in Starbeck. And the place we're going to is just behind me. Elite meat in the pork pie wars. Different episode today. We're out on location because Elizabeth's very busy and she's turned her back on me. I don't know why. She's looking at what we've got. So we've got, uh, because uh, we're out on location, we have to bring all of the tools out with us. Okay, and today is the coronavirus special. So we've got hand gel. And one thing I would say, Elizabeth, I've just been to Morrison's and and I put up a picture now of the hand gel and uh, antibacterial soap aisle, which is ridiculous. And uh, a lady laughed at me as I was taking a photograph of it and she said that she's just seen someone buy 160 cans of baked beans, which is a bit odd, I think that uh, I wouldn't like to be any nearer in a swimming pool, but also has someone told her she needs to keep her finger on the pulse and she mis misinterpreted that as buying beans. Oh, well. Anyway, okay, so Brophy, uh, Elizabeth is gonna weigh the pie, please. So this is the most expensive one we've had. This is from Elite Meat. There we go, there's a selection. We're gonna have that lamb for tea. That was expensive as well. This looks like the smallest pie I've seen. Wow, 124 grams. Yeah. That's a weenie. Yeah. Well, has cut it up, has cut it open. I guess it does look very nice. That looks nice. That does. So for, for a flaky sort of top. Have you got some plates with you? No, there's no plates. I've got salad. I've got salad cream though. Mm. <laughs> oh gosh. I, I, Elizabeth, a little bit. She's bypassed the salad cream today. Mm. So what's it like? Tasty. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Slightly different way of doing the salad cream today, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I mean, it's not, it's not the most sort of refined of. So that, that certainly wasn't refined. Mm. So, how was it? Is it better with the salad cream? Mm. So, how does that. Uh, well, I'm going to trace it now. Very nice. Is, I like this. You like this? Oh, looks like it's a. Uh, but it, it's, it's not a small pie and it's an expensive pie. Mm. Mm. So. That seems to be a mixture of cured and uncured pork. You can see the seasoning in there. Mm, that is nice, isn't it? Mm. I think you could have a bit more seasoning again, though. Yeah. Mmm. Well. Mmm. Well, I... I still think Kendall's is, the, is ahead. But I'm, that is the closest we've had. I think that's better than Adamant's. But it's small. It's small and expensive, so it really needs it to be good. Mmm. So. No. Oh. Get a bit arty, aren't you? Mmm. So we're here on the stray still, and we've had our, our lunch, our pork pie. I've got to say, it was very good. Very tasty. I thought it was the most expensive one yet, the smallest one yet. So value wise, not wonderful taste wise though great really really nice one of the best elizabeth likes to nod um we bought some lamb from this one for tea tonight that's also very expensive so hopefully that'll be quite nice there anyway, that's the uh that's the next uh, that that's that pork pie was uh kendall's are still ahead there's only one more if we can hang on for one more pie it's going to be vox's next week the ubiquitous pie of this area if uh kendall's uh can uh, hold off for another week and beat Vokes and it will retire as the supreme champion. So that's next week. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again.